Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today is actually Sunday, so again, I'm being super late on getting a video done and uploaded, but this week has been it's been a different one. We've, um, what have we done? We had some cheese on Thursday in the garden, which was a delicious Quix. Uh, Quix Farm very kindly sent us some cheese um, and it was absolutely delicious. It's their new West Country box, so I'll insert a few clips of that because it was just heaven and so nice to sit and have some wine and cheese in the garden. <laughs> garden I've just done a mini photo shoot for the quick cheese that I was sent because it was so beautiful I wanted to set up a little thing and now quite frankly I'm scoffing it in the garden sitting here with my legs crossed look at this I'm so pleased with the setup I made and um, all the details on how I created this will be on the blog very soon now we've decided to make a little afternoon of it and Ben has got some rosé out and just look how beautiful this cheese looks with that pale pink Provence rosé. So delicious. up to Dartmoor on or maybe that was Thursday Friday we had the cheese Thursday we went to Dartmoor and tried to catch the comet there's a comet called Neo Wise I think um, that's currently in going around the earth I mean don't quote me on this I don't know but apparently it's only visible like every 25 years so um, or this is the first time it's been visible in 25 years. So you can currently see it, um, but for this month only. So I don't think you're gonna be able to see it in August. Um, so we went on to Dartmoor and took a little picnic with us and some hot mugs of tea and things like that um, to try and see the comet. So again, I'll insert some clips of that because that was lovely. <laughs> Girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back all the way back to them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer, kidding at me Take me back, all the way back to them days you're not already following me over on Instagram go and follow me over there because then you won't miss out on all our, all our little adventures during the week um, but yes it's been a nice week and then yesterday was Saturday and I just spent the day painting in the garden really I'm back into painting I painted this 
um, picture behind me, which I'm really happy with. And I've had quite a few messages from you guys on Instagram um, saying that you really love them and from friends as well saying that they love them. And I've had a few um, requests for commissions to create artwork like this for other people. So I'm going to start selling my art, which is really exciting. Um, so if any of you are interested, do drop me a message either down below or send me a DM on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is katie.calancho and yeah, I'm excited. It's like a nice new creative outlet for me. I have done art uh, pretty much all my life. Um, I've always loved it, but I've never been good at doing um, like realist, like portraits and things like that. I've always been more into the color and things like that. And I did fine art and photography for A-level and I got an A-star. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of that one because that's my only A star. Um, but yeah, so I did really, really well at A level. I didn't go to university, so, uh, no qualifications to speak of there. But yeah, I was really pleased with that and I'm really pleased with the art I'm creating and I'm so glad that you guys and my friends and family like it too. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, this morning, Ben and I are going to go for brunch i think it's about 10 30 and we're going to go down to the quay we had lunch out the other day um and we went and had what do we have we went to mangoes on the quay which was amazing the girls wore like visors and face masks um and sanitized the chairs and tables when we sat down and obviously everything was social distance two meters so it was great and we felt really really safe so we're not quite at a point where we're happy sitting inside restaurants to eat but definitely sitting outside down by the quay um if it's that socially distanced and they sanitize that well then i think we feel comfortable going down there so the new norm we pack our face masks because um as of i think it's next month weirdly or maybe later this month you have to wear face masks in um most places in the uk which is fine so we've got our face masks um just in case and it's just going to be the new norm that we just pack them or keep them in our pockets or whatever whenever we go anywhere so uh, yeah i think that's it i think i've updated you guys i think you've seen everything we've been up to this week so let's go just quickly and please excuse all the uh drying in the background we've done our washing and things hanging up everywhere and just stuff everywhere um, but this is my outfit of the day. Super, super casual. I'm just wearing some wide leg, really comfy, high-waisted white trousers. These are from Zara. And I actually bought them a size too big. As you can see, they, they are huge on me. But I really like them and they're really comfy. And then I've just paired it with a white ASOS tee and some little brown wedges. I've been wearing these ones a lot recently. They're from H&M. And again, they're just super, super comfy. So... Yeah, oh, and I've got some little, I don't even know if Stella and Dot is a thing anymore, but I've just got some little Stella and Dot, where is it, earrings as well. There you go, so that is my outfit for today. Peppy is being super snoozy over on the sofa over here. What's going on, monkey? Do you want to go for a walk? You should go for a walk. What do you think? What's wrong with you today? you just super sleepy, darling? Oh, such an effort to get up. Was that such an effort to get up? I love this little white patch on her toe here. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels too A new day is waiting for us We got lots of fun stuff to do Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys I can lend them your baseball cap Let's make the day a bear and of fun Growing up is just a trap Don't it seem like a trap Yum, and I got pancakes. Yum, this little one. Too hot, darling. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think 
think I'm such a lord of crap. Growing up is just a. We have just had a delicious breakfast slash lunch. You had lunch, didn't you? It's called a brunch. I had breakfast, amazing, brunch. Amazing adventure. <laughs> um, at a place called Veg Box, which is new. It's a month old. Um, they were telling me they've been open a month. They were supposed to open before COVID happened. And then COVID happened and they couldn't, but they have been doing takeaways. But we've never seen it, have we? No, I How found did you it. discover it? Uh, probably Instagram. Instagram. Um, so I am now following them on Instagram now. And you'll have seen some of the clips from inside. It's really, really cute. But yeah, I'm going to go because there's lots of people walking towards us. <laughs> I've just been on the phone to my mum. And we've decided that we're going to go and stay at theirs tonight. Um, in the UK, you are allowed to now stay at... One other household, um, I think that's the rule. But anyway, we've basically formed a bubble with my parents and so we can go over and stay with them um, and they can come to us, which is really nice. So yeah, that will be a nice change of scene. I think this time, I don't know about anyone else, but this time I'm finding the hardest out of like the whole lockdown situation. Lockdown was fine because I felt like there was no FOMO, but this time around people seem to be more confident than others and some people are going to pubs and restaurants and things like that and seeing friends all the time and all this sort of stuff and we're not that confident or comfortable doing that yet even though Exeter has I think is it 14th lowest city region region in the UK 14th lowest region in the UK in terms of like coronavirus cases and deaths so or per per hundred thousand so yeah um we're just not not there quite yet to be able to do all sorts of things but we're trying to get back to some form of normality and it is hard so anyone else out there struggling i feel yeah i do get it um but obviously we're easing ourselves back in so the cafe visit just now was the second time we've been to eat somewhere obviously sitting outside totally socially distanced from anyone else and all that sort of stuff so yeah, I think it's just going to take some adjusting, let's say. in the back garden and I've already picked a few blackberries already and these ones are frozen but I'm gonna pick a load more we also have an apple tree from the nursery next door that hangs over our garden and I'm sure they won't mind if a few of the apples that fall into our garden get used up um, so I'm planning on saving all of these blackberries and the apples as well and making a blackberry and apple crumble or a pie or something delicious maybe a cake um, but I thought we would head out in the garden and pick some more now, so let's go. I packed my bags and said goodbye. I shut the door and walked aside. I thought I would be fine, but baby. So a little update 
light on the wildflower patch as well we have planted a few more things every time i see like a pretty flower i will pluck it from whatever spot in the garden it is in um, and then bring it and pop it in here a few of them are doing really well a few of them aren't so i'll give you a little tour hi bebby what are you doing as you can see we've got a few new buds on our rose this is like a lovely peachy color so that should look beautiful when they've bloomed the marigolds have come out so these are the ones that my dad gave us we've got beautiful like fiery red kind of color and then this yellow as well then we've got these lovely i have no idea what these are called but they are so pretty um this is the same plant then more marigolds this is our hollyhock that we planted from seed we've got one of these here and we've got two more over there um, and then I've got these cute little ones that have actually just dropped their flowers. This is the peony. I'm not sure if it's looking too happy or not. Then we have one of the lupins. The other lupin isn't looking too good either. And then a few little daisies. That's the little flower that we have over here that's dropped its flowers now. The marigold again. And one of these purple ones. This is actually just flowered in the last few days. That's exciting and then lots of other things i don't know what these are i think they're a little blue flower but i'm not sure so that's really exciting and then a little update on our tomato plant these are plum tomatoes we've now discovered and they are doing really really well this actually needs maybe a bit of a water i'm not sure the leaves feel quite dry but look at all the tomatoes we've got I have to show you is the artwork that I was doing yesterday so these are two of the pieces that I created these are smaller ones um, so this is one and it, it's obviously not going to be to everybody's taste but also when these are framed they look so much better so obviously that framed just looks so much nicer than just as it is but if I pop it there is it gonna stand up Ooh then you can kind of get the gist. So I love that. And then this one is very much centered off this kind of color palette. This one, by the way, is not yet finished. But if I put this one here, I I think this one is finished. I may go in again with more, but yeah, this is my kind of style now. This is what I like. So this is what I'm creating. And I did another oil painting as well yesterday, which again is not finished. Um, but is currently sitting in the garage. I need to get myself an easel because oil paintings, if you didn't know, take days and days to dry. Honestly, they take about 10 days maybe. Um, so it is a massive labor of love and you need somewhere to store them. So I think I need to get myself an easel so that I can keep coming back to it and painting when I need to. Um, because otherwise it is a little bit difficult to store it. And yesterday, Ben walked past, I had it on top of the dresser here. Um, ben walked past and walked into it and got paint on his trousers. So that's annoying. But yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this one. Really pleased with this one. It does need a frame to it. But these colours are just some of my favourites. And I just think on a wall, it would look beautiful. Framed, obviously. Um... But yeah, so guys, tell me what you think of these. Obviously, please, please don't be mean. <laughs> um, but tell me what you think, whether or not it's something that you would buy or whether it's whether or not it's something that you would try and give a go yourself. Because quite frankly, you probably can create something like this, um, but some people don't want to create it themselves and would rather have it made by someone else. So yeah, I'm really pleased with these. Just different kind of colour palettes. But yeah, let me know which one you prefer most. I feel like people's minds frame themselves into different places i quite like the warm pinky oops i like the warm pinky colors a lot but some people will like the blue colors more so yeah let me know what you think
to share together What? Where are you now? Are you okay? I'm not Things ain't the same without you It ain't the same without you I've tried to keep my head up Taking one day at a time But you cut deep You leave a mark You're latching on my mind What? And every time I try to meet someone I see They're not the same I like you There's only one just like you Halfway through doing my nails, this is what they're looking like, but I had to pause and show you this little one, because she is knackered after a walk earlier, sneaky, sneaky, oh, angel, you so tired, you just look so cute, you look like a little teddy bear, aren't you? She's so sneaky. <laughs> Nails are done. I went for white. Hello, you. What's wrong? Hi, baby. <laughs> Somebody wants some love. She's just been asleep for the whole time, and you'll have seen a clip of her on her back, which I just thought was the cutest thing. Um, but yeah, nails are done. Can I have my hand back so I can show everyone? Is that okay? <laughs> She's still holding my hand. Um, this is this hand. I find my right hand normally the hardest one to do but actually I feel like it's turned out better than this one which is a little bit rougher as you can see. Um, I've been doing my nails now for pretty much this whole year um, especially since Covid started. I've been doing it myself and I am getting better but white is notoriously difficult to paint on. Um, and get super super neat. It's like a really dark colour as well and white is just, I, I don't know why it's so difficult but I never have any trouble with any of my Coralie shades but this one is just so difficult. But anyway, I'm really happy to have nice nails again because they were growing out a little bit. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I've got anything else to update you guys on today and I'm not sure we'll be doing anything terribly exciting. We are going to go to my parents so I may film later but that will be in another video. Um, I don't think this will be live at five, but I've noticed anyway that people seem to be watching a little bit later at the moment. I think because it's summer and everyone is out longer. So let me know if you like 5pm upload times, that's 5pm UK time, um, or whether you would like it to be a little bit later, because I'm thinking maybe 6.37 may be better for most, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Leave me a comment down below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!